are used to hearing I Will Survive playing on a loudspeaker. But very rarely do you hear that catchy song coming from a live organ. But if you frequent a Kannapolis Cannonballers game, Gloria Gaynor and a little bit of Lauryn Hill is something you're likely used to. I'm always looking for like real fun like hip hop hooks, real fun like rock and roll hooks that people can hear instantly and be like, oh, I know that song. Baseball brings a large crowd to Atrium Health Ballpark. Yes, yes! But a man known as Greasy Keys is the one who brings the nostalgia back to the game. Uh, having a live organist was something that the general manager uh, insisted upon having. The team purchased this organ and soon contacted Greasy Keys, who was playing the organ for the Charlotte Checkers. When I showed up here for the job interview, I, I knew it was a shoe in because I had already owned the same exact organ. So it was, you know, a destiny kind of thing. <laughs> Greasy Keys owned the same exact organ as a kid and grew up in a musical family, back when most knew him as Jason Atkins. I played keyboards, another cousin played guitar, another cousin played drums, and so we would get together and have jam sessions on the weekends. Now every home game. Hey, how are you doing? Greasy Keys is the man you just can't miss. You know it. Yes, ma'am. Stadium organists were once popular in the early part of the 20th century, but soon started to decline by the early 2000s. But keeping a baseball tradition alive was important to the cannonballers. It adds an element that people, whether they realize it or not, they, they love to hear it. It's something you don't find at every stadium. So Greasy Keys plans to make the most of his experience for as long as he's able to. Greasy Keys will do this until Greasy Keys dies. I'd be happy to do this till I'm a ripe old age.